Never mind Three Rivers Stadium in the Astrodome. Last week, the best game in town was played in Washington. The Redskins? No, the Senators. And like everybody else, Andy was there. People who go around saying things have been saying how terrible the Senate hearings on Clarence Thomas and Anita Hill were for everyone. Well, I don't think they were terrible. I think they were great for white people and for black people. White Americans saw black Americans the way they never see them. Didn't they saw ordinary black people, or better than ordinary. That, guess, but, um, the blacks weren't handcuffed, my, they weren't being beaten by police, they weren't Bill Cosby, Eddie Murphy, Aunt Jemima, or Whoopi Goldberg. They were real and they were great. And maybe the best thing about the hearings was that Americans who don't normally give a damn about anything saw their government working the way they've seldom seen it before, and they didn't like it. Everyone wondered how so many senators full of so much hot air ever got elected. There has been an agreement from the outset of this proceeding because, as I said, this is not a trial. Uh, this is a hearing to seek the facts. I didn't agree to that. If you'll recall, I stepped out to use the men's room. Now, <laughs> the point is to be made, it was the FBI sent by the White House no, who first suggested... No, that's not the point. Right. So, always tell the truth and you won't get in trouble. My question is, uh, uh, what, what are the rules? Well, well you, you, you people think you're wasting time. I don't. Well, use a newspaper and you we avoid... Get them the stop FBI. fighting over there. All right, let me just... <laughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman, but I think my time is up. <laughs> now, uh, did you... Uh, do you... Uh, Well, our time's run out. Good. I'm glad the uh, chair is uh, back. <laughs> <laughs> Recessed for, uh, for 15 minutes. During the hearing, several senators suggested reporters were a major part of the problem. They thought the hearing should have been held behind closed doors so that neither the press nor the public knew what was going on. Why is it government officials, including the president, don't seem to think we're smart enough to be told the facts? If the senators trusted us to elect them, how come they don't trust us with information about what's going on? I have an idea why they don't. They know that if we elected them, we must be pretty stupid.